What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fezzy Fitness. Prior to Arnold Classic 2021, I remember Nick Walker did an interview with Ford in which he was asked, other than William Bonac, who is going to be a threat to him out of all the guys like Ian, Justin, Akeem, or Sergio. He took only one name. That guy was Steve Kuklo. That is how high Nick Walker rated Steve's physique at his best. Um, is there somebody else that you see as a threat in any way? I think if he find, if he shows up, shows up, I think Steve Kuklo could do some damage. And Nick was bang on about his prediction all the way. It was Nick in first place and Steve Kuklo a clear up till prejudging. But things took a turn which shocked a lot of people at the finals and Ian became the runner up behind Nick. Now, as we are 8 weeks out of the Arnold Classic, Steve Kuklo isn't even in the discussion as a front runner in this show. One of the reason being no progress updates from him in a long time. And that's mainly because he isn't a guy who is ready weeks out of the show. But keep in mind, Steve Kuklo is a top 6 Olympian. He might be the biggest guy on stage. Last year, he competed above 280 pounds, which as you all know is really high. And as a reference, when he stood with Big Ramy at the Arnold Classic 2020, he held his own. But I think Steve should consider dropping a few more pounds and bring a lot more crispier condition. Will be interesting to see how the new guys stack up against him. Justin is another guy who, unlike Steve, is continuously making some serious noise with these updates. Tremendous size, great symmetry. I think 2022 will be the year when Justin finally makes that big leap. His legs were once his weakness, but doesn't seem the case anymore. He is currently working on more separation and detail in his quads. And if he is able to achieve that, he is gonna shock a lot of people at the Arnold. In the last video, Chris Bumstead's COVID situation came to light. And today it's another bad news. The reigning Arnold Classic champion, Terence Ruffin has tested positive and timing could not be any worse for him. With less than 8 weeks till the Arnold, when other competitors like Brian Ansley, Urs and Ramon are training balls to the walls, making every meal count and every workout session in the gym. Tawens is likely resting and he will be losing some muscle in this time span as well. He really is in a tough spot right now because he won't be able to eat all his meals and in the final weeks leading up to the show, he is gonna have to cover a lot of ground to be in his best possible shape. Just like he did last year as we all know for the Arnold. We wish Terence a speedy recovery he was supposed to appear at annual posing clinic tomorrow and his appearance there has been postponed as well. Ending the video with the first official week of Sean Clarita's offseason. The giant killer is mostly covered up but when he trains in a tank top, he makes sure he looks freaky as hell. Sean will attempt to reclaim the title of 212 class in 2022. Although 
He is against a genetically gifted athlete. Derek Lunsford's shape is unmatched, but he still lacks some grainy quality in his muscle and Sean does have that advantage over him. He was better at Legion Sports than he was at the Olympia and he weighed only 174 pounds at Legion. We all know Sean is still trying to get bigger. We won't see him compete close to 200 pounds, but he himself once stated that 190 stage weight would be unbeatable on him. What do you guys think? Can Sean reclaim his title in 2022? Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thank you.